All right, people, we got five sick skills for you today as a winger to drop and destroy defenders. Let's go. Wave. Yeah. I'm in it for keepsake, in the field with the cleat lace. Beat foot with the bare face and a slick tie. That's what she say. She look good. She a big tease when she bite lip with the wink face. All right, guys, we want to give you simple skills. The moves that you can take right here from this video and straight into the game. We're going to start with the simple ones and move on to some more advanced baller moves. First off, I don't know why we're doing this interview. Everyone knows that the Spartans gained an edge in the Battle of 300 by wearing Sox Pro Grip Socks. That's a fact. This has been recorded on many accounts in many Bible studies and all across the land in multiple different cave writings is where we pulled this information from over the last 30 years of research. Why don't I just, I'm an archeologist, so let's just get me lunch. Need to eat food. Many ask, where do these socks derive from? And that is what we have been working on for the past two weeks, trying to uncover the origins of these socks that are so powerful. It's ancient math. Socks Pro plus movement equals better movement. This is a fact. Phase one, children. Merging the sock with organic matter. The yeah, socks Proteus tree has been rumored to have been around for some time. Where the Spartans originated from, and we discovered what they grew these socks on. The holy tree. The holy tree of socks Pro. Uh, yeah, we won an award for the best archaeological dig in the last six centuries. What? Phase two. The DNA takes root. Now I must warn you, this is confidential information. The government does not want you to know this. Please be sure to go to GoLearnMe.com and get your Socks Pro Socks today. We're trying to make this easier for you. You put on the Socks Pro, you get better. That's what the ancients knew, and that's what we've explained in this video. First off, guys, Gear X Pro has a wide range of equipment available to you, but today we're focusing on the Grip Sock. What's that? You've been playing in those crusty, normal socks your grandma bought you in the 1700s? No, wrong. You want to be a better player? Start taking your game seriously. The Socks Pro Ultralight is the lightest anti-slip sock on the market. 30 grams, son, and made with the finest cotton. It is specifically made to keep your feet and ankles more stable, allowing you better precision as you plant and change directions on the field. Did we mention that we've got undetectable grip yarn on the inside of this sock? This is actually one of the most advanced innovations around. You don't have to glue patches inside the sock. This will get rid of the sweaty feet and enhance the grip in your shoe. With normal socks, you will slip and slide in your boots. The other team will take the ball and you will be left with nothing but sadness. You want to be a baller, so get yourself some ultra thin Socks Pro socks and on top of all the benefits we've already listed, the micro cushion technology covers the sole of your foot providing shock absorption and blister protection. It's blister proof people. Why haven't you clicked the link yet? Go now, we've got a very limited time offer, 10% off at goleremi.com with the promo code. The link is right below in the description. And as always, when we offer a discount code, they go quick. So grab them while they're hot and make your feet happy. On to the vid. All right guys, so this first one is the classic. The boss man himself, Mr. Messi, does this all the time and we wanna make sure you guys do it correctly. All right, some of you guys have problems with your feints, you guys message us. I try to do this and go over, well, here's what you need to know. You go to do the feint, your shoulder has to drop, you have to lean this way, okay? But this isn't everything. Some of you guys are leaning this way, putting all your weight here, and then you're kicking the ball, and then you're trying to go like this, like that's not gonna work. That won't work. If you really want this move, and the feints work, you watch these guys that do it well closely. Robin, Messi, 
all these guys do a few things perfectly. They dribble, they dribble, they dribble. When they start to go this way, sometimes you'll notice a stutter step. They'll even go like this. Because what they're trying to do is once they feel that the defender has moved with them, then they push up like this, okay? It's not a lean and kick. All of your momentum has to be going back that way in order for it to work, all right? Boom. That's when you take the ball, you sprint, and you go inside, all right? There is a variation to this called the step over feint, which of course you can do, where you're doing a step over, maybe you do another one, and then you go. All right, so this move right here is sick because we want to be able to also cut inside when we're on the wing. And one of the easiest ways to do this move Take all your momentum. As a winger, you've got to know. You want to send them this way, boom, stop, go in this way, all right? Or send them here, stop, faint this way, and then maybe go, okay? This move is perfect because what you can do is this. As you're dribbling, all you've got to do to do this move, hit it here, and then hit it behind you, okay? Notice the hop. In order to do this move correctly, you've got to get going. You've got to hop it here and here. All right, one more time so you guys can see. Dribble, 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 inside. Notice I pick up my foot, that way I can then go inside, all right? Pull up this move when you're going at speed, and now I'm inside. All right, right here we've got a sick nutmeg for you, as you guys know. Not making defenders is awesome. How to do that, we got you right here. So, one of the things that happens as an attacking player, you're gonna run into a wall. Once you hit this wall, you look up. Once your head's up, maybe you need to see, what do I do? Do I need to pass back? Do I need to shield? All these things are available to you, but what's also available is absolutely making the defender think you're going that way and then putting the ball through his legs. So, that looks like this. Come here, you stop, look up, grab it here, and like that, okay? You can do any sort of nutmeg. As long as you're looking up this way, the defender is gonna think that you're making a pass. So I come here, I go like this. You can just tap like that, all right? You can go here, get going, stop, come in, and then you can even roll it back. It doesn't matter, guys. The point and key to this move is to get going forward like this, there, Misdirection, my friends. That's what you want. What's up, people? Ronaldinho, the baller, the man. That's where this one comes from, okay? This is an also very simple move, one that we've showed, but I think you guys need to have. The thing that you got getting going here is this instep here, all right? So you're on the sideline, you just received the ball. Now what are you doing, all right? Keep active, get ready. All those things are very important. The first part of this move is to take a ball here like this, all right? So notice I plant and this. The reason I do that is to tell the defender that I'm getting ready to take off. And as I get ready to take off like this, he starts to back up. But what do I do? I fake inside with a step over, that lean, shoulders down, all like this, boom. And then I take off, all right? So that's the real thing to remember is to keep your body fluid, moving as you're doing it, boom, all right? So. If you guys wanna put a spin on this at all, if you wanna take it on the inside, you can do something like this and then chop in here. He comes with you, use one of the moves we said, take off down the line. The most important thing as a winger is to explode, okay? Make your move and explode. Boom, boom, go on, see ya. Who am I? Guess. Who am I? Who's this? See? You know who it is, it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Okay, my friends, this one here, he loves. The outside elastico, the screwdriver, the uh, elasticity monster, all right? All these moves are important, but this one right here is the most advanced, which is why it's in this spot. In order to do this, you guys have to know it is here and here, okay? Boom, boom, it is not like this, and then like this. It is a one fluid motion. Boom, boom, out like that, all right? The place that you do this is the most important. As you're going in, 
there, all right? Notice that my whole body gets into this move. You need to be connecting right here, right at this spot. Look at the angle of my foot. As I angle my foot this way, this is what allows me to then flick it back up. You have to understand that in order to get this done. All right, so. I might be moving, dribbling, taking in here like that, and then we can cut, okay? To do this move perfectly, look at the defender, build up speed, cut and cut. Going at an angle will make this easier, so as you look and see right here, as I dribble like this, I wanna get in here, down, and out. All right, that's the move, that's the vid. We gotta go, so we'll see you later. All right, people, that is the vid. Make sure to check out GoalArmy.com. We are gonna have a Halloween sale. If it's already past Halloween, then you missed it. But we'll have another one this month, Black Friday, okay? Check out all of our stuff, the podcast. Like this video, comment below, subscribe. Love you guys, peace.